Hey y'all, Ellery here. Bet you never seen me start a video like this, looking all Chewbacca y, you know? But this is a good, ready with me, Obvi. Um, this wig was just washed, and I literally just pounced it on my head, as if you couldn't tell. So we're gonna move to the bathroom. You may not be able to hear me well, but forgive me. I need too many tools and too many things. I know you haven't seen me with my legendary background in a while. My lights aren't even set up. That's how you know I haven't been here in a while. But um, I'm gonna just film a little get ready with me since I haven't done it in a really, really long time. You know, some of you guys do still wanna see that type of stuff and I, I don't want you guys to think I forgot about y'all. I know I've been on the vlogs real heavy. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, this is for yous. Before we get started, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok at Ellery. Ellery selling on TikTok and um, shop my store at shopstilo.com. And um, yeah, let's head to the bathroom and get started. Okay, so a little background on this wig. It don't fit. As you guys know, I get my wigs from the Virgin Hair Fantasy. I love Jane. She is, she's my guardian hair angel. And when I ordered this wig, I was in a rush. I needed something really, really quick and last minute. That was really, really long. And it didn't end up fitting and I didn't have time to swap it out with her even though she's located in Atlanta. So I have to make it work and I'm gonna show you what you can do if you're in one of those dillies of pickles when i first got it i cut it to where i could wear it on one side meaning like as long as one side looked cool then i would be all right because i was just gonna you know be creative with this side so i'm in a rush today usually i wear this straight but i'm gonna crimp it today because i don't have time so it's got to be on and it's got to be where it's got to be i'm gonna get my um hair milk this is curl perfecting styling foam i usually use these on like my wavy um wigs, but this is really just to mold the hair out the way so I can see the edges and what I'm fenced to do. You know what I'm saying? I just move it out the way and comb everything back. And I'm gonna work with this side first, so. Okay, it helps if I turn this way. Wow, much better. Oh, look at my messy counter. No, let's, turn her. let's turn her a little more. <laughs> all right, all right, so since I'm doing this side first, I'm going to, Get a little more mousse and comb out my baby hairs. Now I can't see the mirror. This is gonna be, this is so ghetto. I hate it here. I'm gonna put some more mousse on this side and then I'm gonna like pull out my baby hairs. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know all this. Come on now. It's 2020, 20, it's 2021. Yeah. So I just pulled out where I'm gonna comb out my baby hair and then I'm combing this part back. Now I really like to use really, really tiny combs. All right, and then once I have the baby hairs combed out, I'm going to style them with the mousse. Um, everybody has their own unique way of doing baby hairs. I just like mine shrooped into the hair. It's really hard to do this without a mirror, but I'm just gonna give you an example real quick before I turn around. I just put the foam on it. I comb the hairs down a little bit and then I swoop it into the hair. And I make sure it's enough baby hair to like cover whatever lace may be there because I really cannot stand to see lace even though even the people you see on Instagram, trust me, you get close enough, you won't see everybody's lace. It's not, it doesn't just turn invisible. That's why I always say, if you see my lace, you're too close. Back on up, okay? But um, I use the baby hairs to camouflage the lace as much as possible, which I'm gonna do over here. I really need to get up close in the camera. But I've already shown you guys how I do this on previous videos, so just. All right, so those are set for now. And for my shine burn, I go a little heavier with the foam. Now granted, this isn't my sideburn in real life. This over here is, cause I'm gonna get to this part in a minute, but I like ghetto sideburns. So I like to, I go in, out, hold it like a finger wave, and then I curl the tip of it into a circle. Obviously I need to get up and close in the mirror. But once again, <laughs> I go in towards my ear, hold it, out towards my face, hold it like a finger wave, and then I get the tip of the hair and flip it into a circle. I've done it different ways, but this is the way that is fastest and that I do when I'm rushing like now. So that's what it ends up looking like, a little loop-de-loop. And then I put a little bit of the spray. The spray is like, I don't know what they put in here, but it unglued itself shut. So now it just fizzles out. Wait, hold on. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. All right, see it's a little sizzling out. So I put a little bit on the, the metal part of the comb and I tap it on my sideburn because sometimes it likes to lift. 
and I don't like to use the glass to be to gel the sideburns down because it gets all over my face and when I put my makeup on it's a hot mess so I just use little drops of this and tap it onto the sideburn and it don't move like Gorilla Glue Girl it don't move all right now this side this side is much much easier because i ain't got to do the baby hairs because it don't even fit over here like i don't even have baby hairs over here i barely even glued this side down or gelled it down i just gelled it enough so that i don't slip to the back you know what i mean but it's not you're not going to see all this so i just put enough for it to be still and then before i put it on, I pulled out my own sideburn right here because the sideburn on the wig doesn't fit my head right. So I pulled my own sideburn out, enough hair to make a swoop like this. And now for this side of my hair, I'm just going to slick it down. You can either swoop it or slick it. I'm just gonna slick it enough to cover just basically everything that would show if it did fit. So I'm gonna get my mousse. Jesus. Moosh chose violet. And I'm gonna slick this side down and put it behind my ear. Now, if I was going somewhere where I was gonna be like sweating and I really needed this to last all day, I would got to be this down. But I don't like to do that unless I absolutely have to because then it's like if I wanted to pick up and just throw this wig on tomorrow, it would be a helmet because you know that got to glue be staying put, you know what I'm saying? So mousse still does a pretty nice hold and it's good enough for me. Now that that's slicked down, only thing that's left is my real baby hair and I just have to mimic it like it is with the fake baby hair on this side and do my little swoop right here. All right, see? I mean, the sideburns aren't twins, but they're like, half cousins or something. Now, because this is my real hair, when I put my little scarf on, it's not gonna behave like she is. She's gonna be well behaved, but she's gonna be one of them like have indents of the scarf and act like, you know, she's too good to just do what everybody else is doing. So we're gonna have to touch her up later. For now, she's looking, she's looking all right. Now some people use an elastic band. I could have been bought one by now. Some people use paper wraps, like the styling sheets, which I used to use. This is like the tie for my robe. And uh, I just use this. Sometimes I fold it in half, and sometimes I leave it like that. I'm gonna leave it like this today, because I need the coverage. Yeah, if you're cheap or you just don't have time to buy one, that will work. All right, and she's only like 50% done. We still have to bring out the hot comb, the wax stick, the crimper, like we're not done. But um, I don't wanna crimp my hair until I'm done with my makeup, because they're not gonna stay very long. Cause I'm not like heavily crimping them. So let's go back to the makeup room and get cute. You know, get your drinks, ladies. I'm about to have one. <laughs> All right, and we're back. I was gonna be um, ghetto and drink out the bottle, you know? Just kidding, I would never do that. Um, but I decided to pour it in a glass, so cheers. <sighs> this is my first drink of the day and it's Friday at three o'clock. Finally drinking during happy hour times, you know? All right, so this makeup look has to be, I really wanted to, okay, so let me tell you where I'm going first. I'm going to a basketball game, the Knicks versus the Hawks. You guys probably don't remember, but the beginning of the pandemic last year was the last game. We had no idea what was going on with the world, and it ended up being the last game of the season. So this is gonna be my first time back. I actually really love basketball, even though I haven't caught up with it this season. I enjoy watching basketball. Um, so we have a nice little cabana at the game, and it should be fun. I'm planning on dressing really simple, just a black shirt, a little heel, a little bag, you know? And um, I wanted to do something like a little like glittery on the eye, but I really don't know. I'm not getting those vibes anymore. Now I'm getting natural vibes. So we'll see what happens. Let's just do our face first. I always start with my brows before anything. Lately I've been using the Huda Beauty, what is this called? Rich Brown uh, Brow Bomb Pencil. But um, yesterday, cue the sad music. yesterday um, I was getting ready and I was getting ready to do my brows and I just kept clicking and, and, and clicking and clicking and 
nothing, nothing came. So, oh, so sorry. Yeah, it was awful. So can't use that today. I'm gonna go back to my old faithful. And honestly, that one is just really easy because it's less cleanup for me since the pencil is so, 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 so tiny. Probably the, I think it's like the tiniest brow pencil like on the market. It was easy not to mess up because you can be more precise with it. But old faithful here, where is she? Precisely, here she is. Don't you know I still love you, girl. Benefits precisely, my bro. Y'all know this is my gem too. I use the shade four. Not as precise as Huda, but still does the job. As long as you can do the job, you know, you're on the team. But yeah, I feel like I haven't just sat here and talked in a while. I really don't feel like I have too much new stuff going on. And if I did, you guys would see it in the vlogs because I, I, I'm a vlogger now. You guys remember when I used to sit in this chair and I used to be like, my vlogs be lit. I don't know why y'all aren't watching them, but you know, it's really rude. Just kidding. I didn't say really rude, but I used to be like, why don't nobody watch my vlogs? That's, those are like my favorite videos to edit. And nobody, like, I wasn't really getting the viewership on them. And then all of a sudden just kind of came out of nowhere. Y'all just started watching them. And then when I would do a makeup video, y'all wouldn't watch that. It was like, <laughs> It's either one or the other with y'all. Like y'all either want to see me sit down or see me move around. And to be honest, as much as I love makeup, I've been doing this for so long. I, I have, it's part of my sign, I'm an Aries. We get bored really easily and I don't really like things that are monotonous. So sitting here over and over for years, granted it's different makeup, different reviews. It started really feeling monotonous to me so much so that it was like messing with my brain and my health. and. I just wasn't happy because I was like, I really, I can't not do this anymore, but I'm not having fun doing this anymore. Like I want to do something new. And that's kind of what I love about vlogs. It's like every vlog is going to be different. It's not going to be like the same routine because you know, you obviously in life you do different stuff. So that's why I really, really wanted people to kind of get into them because I really enjoyed those. Like I don't feel like I'll ever get bored of vlogging because it's so much fun. If you haven't seen them yet, just check out a couple of them. Other than that, this year I told myself that I was gonna be unapologetically me, okay? I was gonna have fun, step outside of my comfort zone a little bit. I've never really worried too much about what people thought about me, but like now it's even more. Like people always make a big deal that I'm out in these streets, but I'm vaxxed and Joe Biden said I could be, so. <laughs> I didn't make the decision to be vaccinated just so I could be out here in the streets. I mean, it had a little bit to do with it, but you know, my mom is older, parents, aunts, uncles. I feel like it I would be a little irresponsible to be around them and not get vaccinated. And to be honest, it wasn't until I saw this video, if I could find it, I'll leave it in the um, caption, but it was a video where this black doctor was explaining how the vaccine isn't necessarily new and it's just, something they added on to another vaccine because, you know, it's really difficult to explain. I don't want to get into the politics and the vaccinations and all that stuff. Everybody has a right to do whatever they want to do. It's your decision. But it definitely made me feel more comfortable after I watched it. And um, I went to get waxed and vaxxed. And I'm fully vaccinated now. So I still wear my mask, but I have a level of comfort now around like my mom and stuff. Anyways, in other news, I'm gonna use good old Faithful YSL primer. You know another reason why I don't do makeup tutorials that often anymore? I don't really switch up stuff too often. Like, if something works for me, I'm gonna keep using it. Like, does that not make sense? I know there's a lot of stuff that work for me, but sometimes I just, I get lazy because the stuff that I use most often is just sitting right here on the table. For the most part, my core products are pretty consistent. Like I only use like four or five foundations, three or four concealers. I use a lot of different blushes and lipsticks, but you know, I don't know. I don't know. I just be feeling like it's repetitive. And not repetitive for me, I feel like it's repetitive for y'all. For me to sit here, use the same stuff, different look. And then I always get products to review late. Like I get them, but they'll just be sitting at my door for so long, because I have all this other stuff going on that by the time I open them, all the reviews are out. So I've just kind of been struggling with the whole beauty part of my life, which is a significant part of it. I just, I just, I don't know what to do to make it fun anymore. Y'all gotta help me. I'm gonna use 
another one of my favorites, NARS um, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I'm almost out of this too. This is kind of like the foundation when I'm in between my winter skin and my tan skin. Like it's not too light, it's not too dark. After I get my little tan, I might have to switch to um, CoverGirl D40 or my Fenty. I don't know which one yet. And you know what? I just realized I was gonna put on my concealer first. It's too late obviously now because I'm spotty dotty. I go back and forth on you know whether I apply my foundation or my concealer first because I've been using less and less foundation. When you use your concealer first you really don't even need that much foundation. I don't use a lot of foundation in general though because I'm a medium coverage gal. See that? Look how naturally radiant I am. They sure knew how to name that foundation. All right, and I promise you guys, I don't only just use Tarte Shape Tape. I know like every Instagram Reel video and every YouTube video, this is what I bring out, but I swear I've been using other ones too, but this one is just my go-to concealer. I don't see it changing anytime soon unless they reformulate. If they do, they would be insane. But yeah, this is a shade deep. I gotta show y'all too, there's this eye serum that I've been using from L'Oreal. So what had happened was, at first I thought it was a fluke, right? I had um, like really bad sunburn and I had, I was peeling like all over my face and like under my eyes. I've shown you guys before, I had like old eye where it was like, when I would do this, like my whole eye would scrunch up because it was like severely dry. It happened to me like a while ago and I was putting like all the eye serums on it. It just wasn't seeming to work or at least work fast enough for me. And then I like went digging through my drawers for other stuff and I found this eye serum, right? I'm gonna put a picture of it right here. Cause I've been meaning to show this in my Instagram stories, but I've been forgetting. Okay, so I had used it and like after a couple days, my dry eye was gone. But I was thinking, you know, well, I was using other stuff. I don't really don't know if this was what actually worked. Then something else happened, same thing, I used it in the work. But more recently, okay, there was this scrub I had got in the mail. I think it was the Ole Hendrickson Walnut Exfoliating Scrub, right? And mind you, I exfoliate every week, so it wasn't anything that I feel like I needed to test spot on because I use like exfoliating products all the time. Like what, what would make you different, sir? I like other Olay Hendrickson products, so, so I just went ahead and went crazy with it, scrubbed my whole face, and like two days later, I kid you not, above my eyebrows, under my eyes, like right above my mouth, everything, looked like as if I put a lighter to it. It was burnt, like it was so dry and hard and scaly. I was like, I, I think, did I cry? I don't even remember. And at first I didn't realize it was the scrub. I was like, what did I do? What did I drink? What did I eat? Something made me have an allergic reaction. That's what I think I said, like in one of my stories, I was like, don't mind my face, I'm having an allergic react reaction to something. I just didn't put two and two together that it had to be the scrub because that was the only thing that I like used that was new. So I was using all the hydrating products, serums, everything I could find that said hydration. I was just like literally having my face drip with any type of hydration product. And I felt like it was getting okay, but it wasn't like correcting it as fast as I needed it to. This is another go-to that ain't going nowhere, my Fenty Honey Powder. Love her, she's here to stay. It was one time, like I had somewhere to go, I had to put on makeup. Obviously makeup is gonna make my eyes even drier. I went to my sister's house and like, my face looked like this, but right under my eyes was like super white. Like the it didn't take, the makeup didn't take to that part of my eye. It was super white and when I smiled, I looked like 172. Even my sister was like, I, 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 I don't know what to say. I sprayed like 30 gallons of setting spray on it, dabbed it, and finally it got good enough for me to like get away with it, but nothing was seeming to help. So I finally realized, ding, 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 just use the shit that you used all those other times that came through for you. Day one, I noticed that it was getting better. And like, I think maybe like three days later it was gone. So that basically told me that this serum is the truth. So if you suffer from dry eye, I need y'all to try it to let me know I'm not tripping. But this little honey serum in a jar, 
she be coming through for you, girl. Okay, so back to what this was supposed to be about, my get ready for the weekend. I can't believe I haven't done the sip or treat yet. It's probably because I'm just so honest, I feel like I would never get drunk because I don't mind sharing. I'm an overshare in general. I tell people in my business like way too much. It's not the greatest quality to have, you know? Everybody knows your business. Meanwhile, you keep everybody's secrets. But I'm a good secret keeper. Like y'all can tell me anything. I didn't tell nobody. I ain't even gonna pillow talk about it. Anybody even sleeping next to me. I got you. See, this is another Old Faithful. And you know what? I'm gonna use a different bronzer. This is the Ebony Covergirl bronzer. I use her all the time, but I'm gonna use a different bronzer. This is another one I like. It is the Benefit Hula Toasted. You know, it took them forever to come out with this one. I remember one time I went on a trip with them and I was like, y'all know I love y'all, right? <laughs> but what is up with the hula? in my shade and a girl that used to work for them was like we're working on it we're working on it and i actually was invited to the event when it first came out i miss brand events they used to be so fun especially when they started allowing you to bring a plus one because to be perfectly honest in the beginning i'm not going to say they weren't fun but I'm like one of those type of people, like my main goal is to have fun. I don't care who's there. I don't care about clicking up. I don't care about being in anybody's vlogs or pictures. I wanna have a good time. And in the beginning stages of like brand trips, when you used to have to, you know, you didn't get those plus ones, it was really clicky. And I didn't feel like I meshed there because I don't, I've never been that type of person that felt like I can't, you know, conversate with a janitor. But when they started letting you bring the plus one, that's when I started to have fun because I would bring somebody that I knew knew how to have a good, how to have a good time. We would do our brand requirements and then, you know, you guys can go over there, but we're going over here. We're going to the club. We're going to the bar. We're going out. We're dancing. Okay. So, I really, really miss seeing everybody and, you know, networking, having a good time, trying out new products because that's how I found out I like this. I would have never known if I was on that brand trip because, you know, your girl's cheap. She doesn't just go to Sephora and buy up the store. I don't do that. I have to be introduced to it. I got introduced to new products. I got to get a personal relationship with brands all while having a good ass time. I don't know when they're gonna get back in motion. I know like California is doing some like local stuff, but brands have never really been local in Atlanta. I don't know why, cause Atlanta is like, don't tell anybody I said this, but Atlanta is way better than LA. Shh. I can say that though, cause I'm from California. I'm not from LA, but I'm from California. I mean, it depends, like I don't like industry parties in general. I don't go to industry parties, but I'm saying like you can go to Atlanta, go to a hot club or a hot bar, lounge, whatever, and not feel like you're not supposed to be there. You know what I'm saying? Like granted, you may still be standing there because they've made the clubs like to where you have to get like sections, MAC mineralized skin finish, not going nowhere. But for the most part, I have fun anywhere I go. I went to U-Bar. You remember when I said my date from hell, I went to U-Bar and I was like, wow. I went to U-Bar the other day and I had fun. They renovated it, it looks different. It's still hood. But <laughs> I didn't plan on going there. I had met somebody there, but I had a good time. Like I can, I can adapt. I'm surprised I'm not a water sign because I can adapt to any situation that I'm in. It will take me a minute though. I may need three shots before my adaptation kicks in, but I can have a good time anywhere. This is a blush bron wait, not blush bronzer, a blush highlight duo from Pixie and Makeup by Denise. Denise is a long time friend of mine, some of her. We kind of like started around the same time. I actually brought this on my trip, my birthday trip. This was like the only highlighters and blushes that I brought on my birthday trip to Mexico. The way that trip was set up, I had a list of stuff I was gonna do. I was gonna film a get ready with me. I was gonna fit my live video. I was gonna film all this type of stuff. And um, I barely filmed the vlog. Like things just got, you know, really like active and I forgot to do everything. So I have been using this since then though, since my birthday. And I like to use this blush over here. I usually use both of these for highlight blush. I think I'm just gonna use the highlight today though because I kind of want my blush to be matte, a little more matte. I'm using the KVD Vegan Beauty blush in Snapdragon. I've used this before on my channel. It's a matte blush, so it's gonna give me 
the tint that I want. I don't want any shimmer in it. See that? She's looking, she's looking, she's looking. All right, now I'm putting the highlight, the gold from the palette. You don't need a lot. Tap, 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 dust, dust, dust. See, it's so soft, see? You see it though, ah, you see it. Tap over my Audi moles. When that dries, I'm gonna dab over it with my powder brush. It's four o'clock, I have an hour. Seems like a lot of time. Not! So that really just simplified this eye look. <laughs> I have an hour to finish, drop her off. Ooh, is my car charged? Oh my God, I'm getting stressed all at one time. I put some concealer in my eyes. I'm using this Jouer, I don't know what this is called, fluffy brush, dome brush. Let me go find an eyeshadow palette. Okay, I've never used this product or this brand before. I'm super duper duper super late, but this is the Natasha Denona Ayana palette. I haven't tried her brand before, but I know she has a lot of really pretty eyeshadow palettes. I actually got this palette in a BoxyCharm box. And I'm just gonna do like a really soft and sultry vibe. I'm gonna put this little, the shade is called Crease. I'm gonna start with Crease right here. Oh my, it's not that flesh. <laughs> uh, so I'm not gonna put it all over. I'm just gonna kind of concentrate it more on my lid area. Cause it had like a little gray undertone there. And I do want a little bit of shimmer on my lids. So I'm gonna go into this middle shade right here, Satin Skin. I kind of feel like this palette is like on the cooler side. Well, I don't feel like it, it is. It's a cool palette and I'm a cool girl. It's not a cool eyeshadow girl. So this palette is already up here. I've used this before. At Foresight, Raw Christie Beauty, ColourPop. I'm just gonna dabble a little bit in the West Coast to kind of brighten up that coolness I just put on. I'm only gonna use like one swipe though. Cause like I said, I don't want hella eyeshadow on. Then we're gonna go into homegrown. This warm brown shade right here. Darken up my crease a bit. I'm gonna brighten up these inner eye corners with my highlighter. I actually think they need to be even brighter. Let me add some of this West Coast. Yes, okay, there we go. Gold schlick. Now I just need some scar and some liner. Uh, this is the Huda Beauty Life Liner. I use a pencil side. I liked the liquid liner because it was super black, super matte, and um, lasted, but it's harder to use because it's kind of thick. So I wish she would come out with another one that is more liquefied. And this is also Odie Bagudi Benefits Bag Elving. My favorite thing about this one though is that I don't have to put hella layers on. I can just do one layer and the applicator makes them nice and dark and long and separates them. Even before I got lash extensions, I used to use this on my top lashes as well. Now I just gotta brush out my lash extensions. I dab over my molds that are looking really dark right now. And I just need some setting spray. I'm out of Urban Decay All Nighter. Let's get some MAC Fix Plus. Whew. All right, now it's over. Oh my God, I'm dripping, I'm dripping. They went a little overboard, huh? I'm not gonna put on my lipstick till I'm getting ready to walk out the door, so I'm about to go ahead and finish my hair. I'm gonna comb it out first. It actually has a nice little texture to it before you do anything to it, because like I said, this is straight off of a wash. I really want a wig longer than this. I want it to like hit the bottom of my booty so that when I bounce it, even though it's not gonna be bouncing, my hair is gonna move so it's gonna look like I'm bouncing it. That makes sense, probably not, but. All right, now I'm gonna get my wax stick. This is called She Is Bomb. You can get this on Amazon. I wanted to try it out before I actually recommended it and I like it, so. It's not super sticky or heavy. It's like, it's like perfect for wigs, so. But I basically just go all around the part 
And this basically helps like if you have any humps in the wig, like it's been sitting in your closet and this part is like pushed up like this and it's not laying flat. This is just gonna help mold it to where you need to go. You need a wax stick and a hot comb. So now I'm gonna use the hot comb to lay the hair in the direction I want it to go. I'm also gonna make it flat. Now my wigs don't get super duper flat and I don't mind that, but I don't bond my wig cap down. I don't know how long y'all have been here, but I told you guys like two years ago, I had somebody glue a wig on my head for the first time ever. I wanted that super flat look or whatever because it was New Year's Eve. So I had somebody um, glue it down for me and I don't know if I was allergic to whatever lace bondant she used, but after the wig came off, like two days later, I was bald. Like bald, I'm not even exaggerating. Like all this, was gone, gone. I cried for like seven days and seven nights. I went and got some like plasma shots in my head and it never grew back the same, unfortunately. You know, I used to wear my bun up high on my head. I used to like my half up, half down, all that good stuff. And I haven't been comfortable to do that yet because I never fully recovered from that situation. So it was a very dark time for me, but you know, life goes on. There's nothing I can do about it. Only thing that I can do is make what I got work for now. So see how she's a little flatter up here. Oh, and basically I was saying it's not flat because I wear one of these. Okay, so this is underneath this wig. I have one of these. It's like a velour wig grip. Allegedly, the velour is better for you than the stocking cap. So I use this and then I put a wig cap over everything else. So I have like two layers. That's why my shit is never gonna be like super, super flat, but I don't mind, okay? I don't have the type of face or head shape to be bald. I wish I did, otherwise, I cut all this shit off. All right, and since I said this is not gonna be like a perfect crimp, what I do is I'm just gonna get the bottom layer, a middle layer, and a top layer. Overall, I just want it to look like it has a wave to it that's more wavier than this. I had a little scrunchie on my the whole time. I didn't even see that. This Hennessy is working a little faster than I need it to. All right, I'm gonna come through once again. Spray some heat protector on it. Make sure it's dry before I start to crimp it. This is the crimper I'm gonna use. Um, it is called, I don't know. I got this at Sally's. Oh, it's an ion. I like this one because you don't burn your hands like at all. You know, sometimes the when you're using a curling iron, the little button part that you push down gets hot. This doesn't get hot at all, and you can press it down harder right here. This is how fast this is gonna go. I don't want super duper hard crimps. Okay, see, and that's gonna give me a more polished wave as opposed to like a just got out of bed wave. You know what I'm saying? We wanna be polished. And all the rest is gonna be pretty repetitive, so I'm just gonna speed through it. Okay, so before I like finger comb my hair out and put my serum on and do any last minute touches, I'm gonna get dressed. Oh, she's cute. Mm -hmm. All right, still not done. Okay, I'm gonna get some hair serum, some lightweight. I don't know if I wanna recommend this to y'all because the shampoo and the conditioner like literally effed up my wigs, but the serum has been fine. It's called silicone mix, but if your shit is messed up, I tried to warn you. The serum seems to work fine though, as far as like giving me a shine and not being too heavy. I've been using this 
as a finishing touch. This is what I'm wearing. I'm not complete yet, so I'm gonna have to give you like a final look when I get to my sister's house, because I'm missing my belt. She has my belt that I'm gonna wear. I left my belt and my purse in her house. So it's gonna match my necklace, it's Versace belt, necklace, shoes, my earrings. I'm gonna wear these. They're from, not Quay, Key. Key, you know the sunglass company that came out with jewelry tonight. Even though these are really hard to put on. You know what, I'm not gonna wear these because they're too difficult for me right now. I'll wear these. I think I got these from Pretty Little Thing. They're just gold hoops. I really want some bigger than this, but this one doesn't have a back. Oh my gosh. My back and my watch. Nothing new here. And I'll show you my shoes, my belt, my purse, my whole shindig. I'm gonna wear a red lip, probably the Ellery liner. And I know I've said this before, but some people keep asking me about the, oh, I'm ashy. About the Ellery liner, um, my collab with ColourPop. It's no longer for sale. I wish I could have worn it all. I wasn't worn it myself, but my entire collab is, um, it's gone. So if you got it, you got it. If you don't, you don't, unfortunately. I have three pencils left and um, a dupe for that, some people have asked me, is Mac Current or Vino? I can't, I always forget which one is closest, but yeah, there's that. And um, can we get a before and after though? Cause um, the way I started this video and now, <laughs> I'm just saying, trust the process, trust it. Oh, I forgot the perfume. The perfume that I'm wearing today, Chef, is You're really wearing that? I told you to get dressed. I'm dressed in that. You're in all black and it's 85 degrees. You know what? You're wearing black? Point made. Don't look at my bed, I just washed my sheets. They're actually in the wash. The perfume that I'm wearing, it's not this one obviously because this one's empty, but the one that I have is downstairs and I'm in a rush. It is Mon Guerlain. Um, Floral, Guerlain Floral. I got this in Paris, I've talked about it before. It's one of my faves, old time faves, obviously, that's why this one's empty. But I have like a little travel one um, that I got from Scentbird in my purse downstairs. So that's the scent that I'm gonna wear today and I'm gonna put it all over my body. I might mix it, I don't know. You know, the Hennessy is making me feel really good today, ladies. <laughs> Okay, the Hennessy was actually making me feel a little too good because I forgot to film the final, final look. Major, major fail on my behalf, my bad. But here are some videos and some pics that we took at the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me. And if you guys want to see more like this, make sure you let me know in the comments. But until then, love ya. Mwah.